Hey guys, welcome back to Webdem Mentors YouTube channel and you're watching a new series in Webdem Mentors, a JavaScript for beginner series. Well, there was a request from one of the subscribers, which we'll be covering at the end. I'm not going to say the name, of course you can see them right in the channel, so if you've seen him, we'll say thanks to him. Yeah. Okay, now the first and the very important thing that I want to tell you is, it's really important. JavaScript is not Java. There's no relation with Java when it comes to JavaScript. So if you say JavaScript is related to Java, then people will easily understand that you don't know JavaScript. JavaScript is no just no just nowhere related to Java. Maybe some places, but nope, it's not related to Java. It's not Java. You know, JavaScript is not Java. Just remember this, okay, all throughout the series, just remember this one. Even if you see the syntax are closely related to Java, it's not Java, okay? So it's not Java, just keep this in your mind. The next thing is going to be, what is JavaScript? So, what few things that you want to know about JavaScript is, it's one of the most popular language in the world. I would say it is the most popular language in the world, so it's like, it is one of the most popular language in the world, if not the most popular language in the world. So, I don't want to put the one of the, but yeah, I had to add it, okay? So, if you are a web developer, you will need JavaScript 1000 percentage. I need to add that as an infinite percentage. So, even if you are a back-end developer in web development, at one point of time, you definitely write something in JavaScript. So, keep this in your mind, if you are a web developer or if you are looking forward to become a web developer or anything in web you need JavaScript one point of time you would write JavaScript anywhere okay so keep this in mind if you haven't done it come back to me I'll just say you that okay sorry buddy you're not a web developer I'm sorry yeah people might think that okay being a back-end developer I don't have to do it but once you become a web developer, you know why you have to do it. So, the next thing is JavaScript is these days, in these days, by most of the developers of grammars, is mentioned as JS, not as JavaScript completely. So, JS is something like it's an alias for JavaScript. So, people say that JS, then you have to understand that it's JavaScript. So, even if I say JS, some point in the series you have to understand that it is mentioning JavaScript okay so it's kind of a information okay and it is client-side yes so this scripting language JavaScript is client-side it's not going to run in your server or in your mission or in any kind of local development system or anything you, you don't need anything it's going to run on the browser of the user who is going to see that code so it is going to be compiled are you know executed in the browser so if the client decides like okay I'll go to setting and disable the JavaScript what happens nothing happens simple as is your JavaScript is not going to get executed so your user would like hey dude you wrote the program in JavaScript and it's not working and the first question you should ask is like is your JavaScript enabled in the browser and he says like no and you'll be like, would you please enable the JavaScript or else it won't work. Sorry about that. That's that's something that happened in past, but these days people know that, okay, JavaScript is not something that you have to mess up with, so don't disable JavaScript. And there's one set of people who doesn't know that there is a setting that can be used in order to disable JavaScript. Yeah. And... JavaScript itself alone as a single-handed programming language can do wonders. It's not necessary that you have to write HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and there has to be a backend, you know, the server-side scripting language like Ruby, PHP, Python, ASP, JSP, whatever it is. Okay, PHP is good. Well, you don't need any of them. JavaScript alone can perform wonders. It can do complex algorithms, complex programs, just by itself. You don't have to actually write anything else in any other programming language. No. 
that's something that you have to keep in your mind because JavaScript is very, very powerful if you use it properly. Now, the next thing is what to expect from this series. Well, it is a beginner series, so I left it part dot 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 because a lot to say, not just small, a lot to say. And if I type there, it'll be like three slides all together in a single place. So I don't want a single point to be long. So it's coming to this point is that beginner series in the sense that I want to explain stuff to people who are starting to know what is JavaScript. So there might be something like it's kind of A, B, C, D for you. But for them, it might be like, you know, they're coming from their youngest age. A newborn baby will find A, B, C, D. Wow. But you might be like, what? Because you know things doesn't mean that I should skip it. You know, I, I want to make sure that the beginner series is for beginners who doesn't know anything as well. Apart from people are coming from something who knows basics about JavaScript. So please try to understand it. Please try to adjust with me. I'm extremely sorry for that if it's not really valuable for you, but I have to cover a few things that is really slow for you, but for, very important for some people because that is what is going to make them understand what I'm going to say later on in the series. So if you cannot, you know, adjust with it, you can obviously skip to other part of the same video where you can find the content of that video or else, you know, the actual content of that particular video or else you can skip the video and go to the next video if you think that okay this video is not something that is going to be resourceful for me so try to adjust with me try to adjust for the sake of people who doesn't know anything so try not to you know write things like okay this is a piece of crap video They're just talking 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 all the way I've seen that happening in my previous videos but people need it sometimes in order to understand what's going to come later on in the series or else they'll be like okay i don't understand it's just it's just too fast i can't able to cope up with it so that is something that i don't want to happen in any of my series so try to adjust with me i'm extremely sorry if this is a situation for you like you feel like okay just keep on talking something rubbish that i don't want to listen to i'm extremely sorry you can either mute the sound or I'll just fast forward you know, go to the place where it really matters for you the next thing is not all will be covered so any programming language I'm damn sure anywhere you go in YouTube you cannot find everything being covered in the series the same going to happen in here there are a few things that you might think okay these are basics why did he left it out I might have not left it out I might have covered later on in the series or else I might have left it out you know in a way that people will figure it out all by themselves or else it has to be an exercise for them to figure it out using some Google Stack Overflow or kind of stops or else it might have been covered without being mentioned in the title or else in the description or else explicitly by myself in the video but I might have covered them in a, you know on on the go in a flow I might have covered them so try to actually figure it out or else please let me know Okay, I'm just listening. Um, I'd like to listen. If I missed out something, I'm sorry. Try to inform me. I'll try to make sure that it happens in one of the videos in the series. And the next thing is most of the behavior in the JavaScript will be covered. So you, you should know this. JavaScript is something that is used to actually do some of the behaviors in the website. So all those behaviors will be covered. So not the core behaviors like the advanced levels of programs will be covered but yeah things that is needed things that is uh, very important will be covered and it is about what you can do not what you should do so I'm not going to you know say that okay you should do this you should do this you should do this it's not going to be like that none of the series in the Dementors will be like you should do this I'll not be teaching you how to design something but I'll be showing you what all can be done using this so it's up to you to design something based on your innovation your creativity and based on your thoughts and your abilities you can do things so it's about how and what you can do not what I can show you to do so that's the difference and the next thing is what you can get from me now I'm not the best in JavaScript so let me say it right at the beginning okay so I'm not the best person who wrote everything in JavaScript or something I'm not the person who 
created or developed JavaScript. So I know JavaScript. I've been using JavaScript for five years or something. Not professionally though. Uh, you know, in my websites or in some kind of playful ways or something. So I've seen a lot of JavaScript, but I'm not the best. So I might make mistakes. So if you find any, please feel free. You know, I'm not against someone who comes and says like, "You're wrong, buddy." I'm really happy. Please let me know directly in the comment section so that people know it. You now, while seeing the video, they know that okay, this video is wrong, so that they don't do the same mistake in their program. So, I, I don't have any issues with it. I, I'm not someone who said like, okay, he figured out and he displayed it in a way that everyone knows that I'm wrong. I'm fine with it. I, I don't have any issues with it. Sometimes I do mistake for sure. Yes, it happens. Everyone makes mistakes. I'm not someone who it just goes and edits the video and then puts everything. Sometimes you just see a lot of crap in my videos happens. I'm just going to put all the videos in pretty much in the most raw format. So try to just edit. And this series has been requested by one of the subscribers in this channel. So yes, we are listening to the subscribers. But the thing is, we cannot just go about and fulfill every subscriber. We're trying to cover everyone, and uh, you might already know if you have seen a lot of videos or some of the videos in the web Mentors, you know that what is the situation of my system. Now, I lost a lot in my laptop. It's kind of, you know, in the ICU kind of stuff, you know, wired up with a lot of intensive care systems. Like, if you take out one wire in my laptop, it just go. Now that's one of the reasons we can see that I'm using Mac in here, Mac OS. It's not an actual Mac. I've used a Hackintosh. I've installed a Mac OS in my laptop. So that's something advanced. Leave that part. I'm not going to cover that now. And uh, sometimes some things are tough, so we w will not be doing that very soon, as requested by the subscribers. So please wait for it, and please remind us every now and then. I'm sorry about that, but please remind me about it every now and then in the comment section or else drop me a message in the Facebook. Okay, so let's begin this series. Before that, I want three things to be done by you, at least two. Okay, so install a browser. It can be a Chrome, Firefox, Safari. Just one thing, please don't do Internet Explorer please it's a request okay so try try any web browser except Internet Explorer at least the latest version of Internet Explorer than the old one you know Internet Explorer 6 7 please don't do that please and a text editor or well, you don't have to install it because every operating system comes with an in you know inbuilt text editor so try not to uninstall it so something not a you know it's not a mandatory thing but try to have a text editor and kind of a recommendation please install sublime text you, you can easily find it just google sublime text it's a text editor it's kind of an advanced text editor for programming so try to install that if not sublime text maybe go for notepad plus plus or else something else whichever you're very comfortable with even you can go for advanced text editors which can do things with HTML JavaScripts so it's up to you well guys uh, it's going to be a new series so keep watching all the videos of the series and please like this video and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it already and also please share this video it's been a long video of course it's been just theory just a lot about what is going to happen in this series rather than about JavaScript so Try to watch the next video and you will be getting some useful content about JavaScript. Thank you for watching this video. Let's see in the next video and please leave some comments, feedback, suggestions or if you have any issues please leave them in the comment section or else you can contact me in the Facebook page or Twitter feed or Google Plus page. You can find links for them in the description section. Thank you. Let's see in the next video.